Hi, Emma. How are you? I am fine. Jack, what about you? I am also fine. Is there something specific you would like to talk about? Not really. Just looking for some interesting conversation. Do you have any hobbies? I enjoy reading, writing, and learning new things. How about you? I'm into photography and hiking. It's a great way to explore nature and capture moments. That sounds wonderful. Do you have a favorite place you have hiked or photographed? Yes, I particularly love the mountains. There is something majestic about them that always inspires me. I can imagine. What draws you to photography? I love how it allows me to freeze a moment in time and convey emotions through visuals. It's like telling a story without words. That's beautifully said. Do you have any favorite subjects or themes you would like to capture? I'm drawn to landscapes and street photography. The contrast between the serene beauty of nature and the vibrant energy of urban life fascinates me. It's amazing how photography can capture such diverse aspects of life. Do you have any tips for someone just starting out in photography? Patience and practice are key. Experiment with different techniques and don't be afraid to make mistakes. And most importantly, let your passion guide you. Thank you for the advice. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. Likewise, if you ever want to talk more about photography or anything else, feel free to reach out. Take care. Absolutely. Thank you. Before we part OS, do you have any favorite photography tips or tricks you would like to share? Of course. One tip I find helpful is to always pay attention to lighting. It can make or break a shot. Experiment with different times of day and angles to see how light transforms your subjects. That's a great advice. Lighting can really set the mood for your photograph. Any other tips you saw by? Composition is another crucial aspect. Try to frame your subjects in interesting ways. Using techniques like the rule of thirds or leading lines to create visually appealing images. I will keep that in mind. Composition can sometimes be tricky to master, but it can really elevate a photograph. Do you have any favorite photographers who inspire your work? Definitely. Ansel Adams and Henry Cartier Bresson are two of my biggest influences. Their mastery of light and composition never fails to amaze me. Both incredible artists. Their work has left a lasting impact on the world of photography. How do you approach finding inspiration for your own photography? I find inspiration everywhere, in nature, in everyday life, even in the smallest details. Keeping an open mind and being curious about the world around me helps me discover new perspectives and ideas. That's a great approach. It's important to stay curious and observant. Well, thank you again for sharing your insights. I will be sure to keep them in mind as I continue my own photographic journey. You're welcome. Remember, photography is all about expressing yourself and capturing the beauty of the world around you. Enjoy the journey and happy shooting! Absolutely. Thank you for your encouragement. I have one more question, if you don't mind. Of course. Go ahead. I'm happy to help. How do you balance your passion for photography with other aspects of your life? That's a great question. Balancing photography with other responsibilities can be challenging at times. But I try to make time for it whenever I can. Whether it's waking up early for a sunrise shoot or taking my camera with me on weekend adventures. 
I find ways to incorporate photography into my routine without letting it overwhelm other areas of my life. That sounds like a healthy approach. It's important to make time for the things we love while also fulfilling our other obligations. Do you have any strategies for staying organized and productive? Definitely. I like to plan ahead and set specific goals for my photography projects. Whether it's learning a new technique, exploring a different genre, or working on a personal photo series, Having clear objectives helps me stay focused and motivated. Plus, I make sure to regularly review and organize my photos to keep track of my progress and identify areas for improvement. That's very insightful. Setting goals and staying organized can certainly help us make the most of our time and talents. Thank you for sharing your strategies. You're welcome. I'm glad I could offer some helpful tips. Remember, everyone's journey in photography is unique. So find what works best for you and enjoy the process. If you ever have more questions or want to chat further, feel free to reach out. Thank you. I appreciate your willingness to share your expertise. Before we wrap up, I am curious if you have any memorable stories or experiences from your photography adventures that you would like to share. Absolutely. One of the most memorable experiences I've had was during a trip to a remote mountainous region. I woke up before dawn to capture the sunrise from a high vantage point. As the first light illuminated the landscape, I was awestruck by the breathtaking beauty unfolding before me. It was a magical moment that reminded me of the power of nature and the joy of capturing it through photography. That sounds truly unforgettable. It's moments like those that make photography such a rewarding pursuit. Have you ever faced any challenges or setbacks during your photography journey? Uh, definitely like any creative pursuit. Photography comes with its own set of challenges, weather conditions, technical issues, and unexpected obstacles can sometimes disrupt plans and test patience. However, I've learned to embrace these challenges as opportunities for growth and adaptation. They often lead to unexpected discoveries and new creative possibilities. That's a resilient mindset to have. Turning setbacks into opportunities for growth is a valuable skill in any endeavor. Thank you for sharing your experiences and wisdom with me. It's my pleasure. I believe that sharing our experiences and learning from each other is what makes the journey of photography and life in general so enriching. If you ever want to exchange more stories or discuss photography further, don't hesitate to reach out. Keep exploring and capturing the beauty around you. I am intrigued to learn more about your daily life outside of photography. What does a typical day look like for you? Sure. Well, my days usually start with a cup of coffee and some quiet time to plan out my day. Then depending on my schedule. I might have work or other commitments to attend to. I try to find pockets of time throughout the day to indulge in my creative pursuits, whether it's editing photos, brainstorming new ideas, or simply taking a walk with my camera to capture moments of inspiration. It sounds like you have found a good balance between your passion for photography and your other responsibilities. How do you unwind and relax after a busy day? After a busy day, I enjoy unwinding with some leisurely activities, whether it's reading a book, listening to music, or spending time outdoors. I find it important to disconnect from screens and recharge my mind and body sometimes. I'll even use photography as a form of relaxation. Taking a stroll through a park or garden to capture the beauty of nature. 
that sounds like a peaceful way to end the day. Finding time for self-care and relaxation is so important. Do you have any favorite books, music, or outdoor sports that you like to indulge in? Absolutely. I love immersing myself in a good book, particularly ones that explore themes of nature, adventure, and creativity. As for music, I enjoy a wide range of genres. From ambient instrumental music to indie folk tunes, it really depends on my mood. And when it comes to outdoor spots, I have a few favorite parks and trails where I like to escape the hustle and bustle of city life and reconnect with the natural world. It sounds like you have a well-rounded approach to life, balancing creativity, relaxation, and appreciation for nature. Thank you for sharing a glimpse into your daily routine and interest. You are welcome. See you soon. Goodbye.